Whether you do it online or have a work pool, lots of people fill out brackets. About 56 million this year, according to the American Gaming Association. But a group of friends in Council Bluffs takes a unique approach to March Madness that's positively the heartland. Uh, right now, it's kind of a pain to move around because it's pretty much a monster. But oh, what a privilege it is to have. This trophy, which has grown to more than four and a half feet tall, was Rick's idea way back. Today, it's not all the champion receives. My name's on it from last year, and that's why I'm wearing the winning jacket. I get to keep the jacket until there is a new winner declared. If you love March Madness, you'll have mad respect for this group of guys and their dedication to the Final Four for 35 years. In Mike or Vern's garage, we met him, Dave, Tom, Rick, Larry, Roger, Rick, Greg, and John, only missing Ron. They call themselves the Garage Crazies. It starts each year with pick night. It, by the end of the night, your, your gut just hurts because we laughed so much and had so much fun. The ceremony on Championship Monday caps things off. Oh, everything's ceremonial. Yeah. <laughs> They've cut down their own nets, their soundtrack iconic. And then there's a creature feature inspired gesture. It's called the Uncle Ed. Not just in March, they'll do it from the golf course to the grocery store year round. Tom's the most successful garage crazy. He's won it 11 times. Now, we like to think it's just because he gets the number one pick every time. Yeah. He'll tell you different. Others haven't been so lucky. What's your record over these 35 years? Oh, that, there comes the trash. Yeah, dog. that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Uh, I have not won this century. For each man, strategy matters because it's not just about the final four. The number of tournament wins counts. So does lowest seed to win a game. You see a lot of 13 and 14s picked midstream just trying to pick up that uh, lowest seed to win a game. Roger added on. Basketball's an easy sport to be equal in. An FTU, a, a, a Georgetown, a Creighton. It's five on five. They're all big. You don't have a, a, like a big kid in the YMCA when you grew up. These guys have known each other since they were teenagers. Most are now retired. It is a friendship thing. We've watched each other's families grow up, uh, been having kids and kids having kids. In fact, Dave's son has been part of all this himself. In his younger days, that guy right there by the name of Zach Williamson, he, uh, he plugged in as our announcer a couple of years. Uh, this pick of the draft is Greg Williamson. Hey! Countless memories the wins and losses. Here's a nice group shot with two of the guys that have passed. Our friends Scott Voschek and Terry Brown made that picture. We miss the heck out of them. Never taking a year together for granted. The trophy, the blazer, the bragging rights, none more valuable than true friendship. We visited with the guys last week before the Sweet 16. Want to update you now on who's still standing. Rick has two teams left, Florida Atlantic and Miami. And then Vern has UConn and San Diego State. You'll watch the Final Four Saturday here on CBS. And who knows, Vern might get that trophy yet this century. Good luck, guys.